The overall goal of this technique is to generate cells or cell-derived products with modified sialic acid expression. Therefore, cells are treated with N-acyl-modified monosamines, which are metabolized to the corresponding sialic acids and subsequently expressed on the cell surface. This method can help answer key questions in the glycobiology field, such as the influence on glycoconjugates on receptor ligand interactions. The main advantage of this technique are that it is easy to apply and poorly cytotoxic. To demonstrate metabolic glycoengineering, we will use N-acetylmanosamine, which is commercially available. Furthermore, we will demonstrate the synthesis and use of N-propanyl and N-butanyl manosamine. The biological effects of metabolic glycoengineering on the expression of polycyclic acid is shown. First, dissolve 431.2 mg of manosamine hydrochloride in 10 mL of 3 mm sodium methoxide solution in a 50 mL glass bottle containing a stir bar. Cool the mixture on ice to 0 degrees Celsius. While stirring, slowly add 210 microliters of propionyl chloride dropwise to the solution. Then, incubate the stirring mixture at 0 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. Following this, transfer the solution into a 50 milliliter plastic tube and poke four to eight holes into the cap of the tube with a thin needle. Rapidly freeze the solution using liquid nitrogen. Then, lyophilize the sample until it has completely dried. After lyophilization, dissolve the dried product in ethyl acetate, methanol, and water. Using a